Joining us is Jim Hethcote, CEO of ITM Power. Mr. Hethcote, could you explain the core function of your organisation and what you are striving to achieve? We're trying to uh, make the hydrogen economy become a commercial and economic reality. Um, the key problem that renewable energy systems have is that they make renewable energy which does not match our demand and we need to be able to develop a way of taking that energy and making it into something useful for reuse later and we think the best way of doing that is to take the unmatched renewable energy to make hydrogen, hence the hydrogen economy. The problem is it's been too expensive and very difficult to do and that is the core function of what we're attempting to do, change the world energy system. Being that this is a highly competitive arena, please tell us how what you have to offer is unique. Well, to have a successfully co uh, commercial fuel cell or electrolyzer, you need to have low cost and durability. We've been working for 12 to 15 years to develop new materials which are low cost and durable. In fact, the most expensive component in a fuel cell or an electrolyzer using PEM technology is the membrane. It's more than half the, half the cost of the cell and our materials are about 1% of the cost of the competition and we have a completely new process for making fuel cells and electrolyzers. These are patented around the world and uh, we're very excited that we have a very strong competitive advantage. How important is having a close working relationship with your partners? Well, actually, we've been trying to avoid having a close working relationship until about now. Uh, our business plan and our objectives when we went public in 2004 was to develop low cost and durable stack technology, check it worked, and then seek partners. We've been attempting to patent everything so that we can control fuel cell and electrolyzer stack technology before seeking partners. We're now in the process of coming towards the end of the development of the electrolyzer stack technology and we're getting ready for commercialization. We're building a factory and it should be complete sometime in the second quarter of this year. And then we'll be seeking partners, but we're obviously already talking to people so that uh, we're going to have a very close relationship. This technology is extremely advanced and requires close planning and cooperation between the two parties. In your opinion, how could legislation be modified to ensure the successful development of your industry? Well, I'm afraid we've taken a brutal approach to this. Our objective is to make a commercially viable product and uh, we've tried to work around the basis that legislation won't help us. I think there are many cases where it will help us, but our objective is to successfully commercialise this technology. Therefore, we tend to ignore the legislation as a driving force for our commercial plans, but it can assist us greatly. For instance, in London, they have just uh, announced they're planning to raise the congestion charge to £25 a day for some of the highly polluting vehicles, and they've announced that they have a low emission zone, which for some trucks will be £200 a day to enter the low emission zone. Now that will be a great inducement for them to start to move from conventional diesel fuel to using a blend of hydrogen with, uh, with their engines. As an organisation, what are your main concerns and aspirations? Well, what we're trying to do has never been done before. And as a concern, I believe that people say, and I tend to have some sympathy with it, that the markets for our products don't exist yet. But when you innovate, you're doing something new. And I'm proud of the fact that we're innovating. And if it was easy to do, it wouldn't be worth doing. So I would say that's our greatest concern. I think for investors and for people who watch this video, they should decide whether they think having non-polluting transportation, zero carbon housing and energy, uh, energy security are things they aspire to because I personally believe that's what people want and that's the, that's the judgment of our management. Thank you, Jim Hethcote, CEO of ITM Power. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.